Hello and welcome to a quick walkthrough of the study organizer Notion template. I'm going to assume that you are somewhat familiar with Notion. If not, you'd have to go to Notion and create an account for yourself. They are free at the basic level and if you're a student, they are free at an advanced level as well. You just have to put in your universities or your college's email address and you can find out all of that good stuff on Notion. So the template that I'd like to offer to you today, this is to help keep you on top of all your deadline and exam prep. All the notes that I put in are in italics, everything you can substitute and change and edit to your liking. I will add the link to the walkthrough video here once I've recorded it and uploaded it. And then do contact me if you need any more details, if you have any questions. And then if you want this to look a lot cleaner, obviously you can delete it after you've read it. Just a quick reminder, you want to click on the wee triangles to toggle the hidden information. As you can see, this is not necessarily the prettiest, but it is the most functional because you can absolutely add more photos or more quotes or make it your own. I just want to show you what I used when I was going through my masters. So I have an area here with details about the course, which obviously you can add and or edit and or delete if you don't find it helpful. But I liked having one space where I could see all the emails and contact forms and for example, where to access if I had a deferral request have that in one page and then study area because if your degree is online maybe you have different links that you have to follow. The course description is something that I also like to keep on my dashboard because especially the verbiage can be interesting when you go into LinkedIn descriptions or when you're looking for job descriptions when somebody asks you what you're doing what you're learning the course description copy paste it from the website from the course website just to have it all again in one place. An activity summary, this can be anything. Yours is probably going to look different, but it can help you with the broadest level of managing your time. And then I left a couple of links in here for style guides and citations. So the referencing that you're going to have to do, whichever that might be, it can be APA if you're studying psychology or Harvard if you're studying history, or that will depend on what your course is, but I've put the link here. And because my degree was in psychology and if you happen to be in that similar field, I've left the databases that I used for my research in here for you. But of course you can change them and add the ones that you need. And now this very simply, this is the main database and the complete calendar of everything. If you're unfamiliar with Notion, again, this is databases. So it's Excel on steroids, but even better. This column where it says name, that is the one that is going to be the reference for the, every entry that you make. And then all these other columns you can add, you can edit. There are a couple more here, so you can slide left or right to see them all. And then each line item gives you the opportunity to go deeper and open a page. So let's go into the blank one here first and then I'll show you what's available in the individual ones as well. When you click on an item, the page opens to the right. You can open in full page as well. We don't need to do that right now because this is just the blank example where you see this is, for example, the module, the page pertains to. So you can already see once you color coordinate it later as you go in and as your calendar fills up with all the items, you'll be able to see at a glance how many items you have for which module and then dates, tutors, what type of item it is that you're referencing. Is it a lecture? Is it an exam? Is it your revision? Is it a workshop, etc.? And then also included with this template, I have prepared something where you can take lecture notes. Of course, feel free to ignore. You can also just press enter and go ahead and use this, uh, an empty page. But I have templates here for you for taking notes during the lecture, for capturing the items for any essay that you might want to write, and then also a revision template. And of course, you can create your own by clicking new template here. A lecture note template will look like this. You have instructions how to fill it out and just a couple of tips from me to you about how to take effective notes. You want to definitely put your phone away because it already takes cognitive energy to ignore it when you can see it. The summary you should be written last and it's like a one or a two sentence 
summary so that you know what the lecture was about. Personally, I like to use a hierarchy as well to know that the main points are in like a heading and then the sub themes and are in, in a lower case. And this is where you can type your lecture notes. And then we have an assignment or an essay might look like this. Again, just from me to you, a couple of tips with instructions. I also have a YouTube video out about how to write an academic essay. If you want to take a look at that, it's linked over here. Basically, you have a database again where each item is a piece of the essay, which then you can compile to have it all in one place to help you copy paste it and to do the editing of however many drafts you need. With any plus sign, you can add a block below and then with any points, you can click on them and it gives you options to edit. So you can duplicate one if you wanted to and just keep calling it second draft, third draft, whatever that might be. Last but not least, the revision template and I'm going to open this one here. This might be the most interesting one for you, especially if you have to learn things off by heart. Here are the instructions. Let's quickly go through them here. Studies show that reading, underlining and rereading a text is not as effective as quizzing yourself because basically when you're rereading something, your brain recognizes it, but it doesn't mean that it will be able to recall it under pressure. To improve your memory, you want to train your brain to remember and spaced repetition has been shown to have the best effects. Based on your lecture notes or reading, create a quiz for yourself. Basically then, this is the revision database, you will add a question per line and that's your item and then you can open it and you can put the answer inside it. And then if you use this database like flashcards, you read the question, answer it in your mind and then open it to check whether the answer was correct or not. If you recalled it correctly, move the level up one number. The next review date will then be moved along depending on the levels. What do the levels mean? Level one is where you start. It means the item should be reviewed again the same day. So this is a new piece of information. If you remember it correctly, move it to level two, which means you'll review it again the next day. And then if you review it the next day and you remember it correctly, level three will then space it three days out. Level four will space it six days out and level five will space it 10 days out. So the idea is every time you review it, if you remember it, it moves forward. But if you've forgotten or you get it wrong, it moves back to level one. And this is what that looks like. The last mistake, basically, this is the date where you put the, f the first time that you review something. And then level four, is six days later, so from the 20th to the 26th. And now if you take a look, if you've forgotten it and you move it back to level two, then it means today was the last mistake and then tomorrow you have to look at it again. Of course, you can also view it in a calendar view and then you'll see here whatever things you have going on. And you can also view it by module and these views, you can edit them in terms of the layout and the properties that you want to see, of course. And it's a question of preference. You know, some people like the calendar view, some people like the list view, and some people like the module, but you can edit that and make it fit your needs. Okay, I hope this was helpful.